Well, hello there. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're doing a walk around St. Bennett's Abbey, following the river down to uh, Thurn. It's a walk that probably a lot of people don't do. You walk along the River Bure to Thurn Mouth, and then follow the Thurn back past St. Bennett's Drainage Mill, which at the moment has got its sails removed obviously for some maintenance and this has happened I suppose in the last month or so but it looks a little stark given the uh, given its lack of well anything at the moment no sails makes it look a bit strange never seen it without sails walking now past St Bennett's Abbey here this is quite a ruin. I've taken many, many photographs of this in the past, so conditions aren't great for it right now. So I've kind of got a blue sky up there, and quite a cloudy, overcast grey sky there, and a lot of sun coming over. So uh, these aren't perfect conditions by any stretch of the imagination. The area that I'm walking in is entirely flat, uh, apart from the tiny hillock behind us. You can probably just about see a cross on the hill which is thought to be the site of the original high altar of the abbey and St Bennett's Abbey is the only abbey to survive the dissolution uh, by Henry VIII which is quite a uh, quite a thing but some twerp back in was the 18th 19th century put a bloody great windmill in the gatehouse which was the only part of it standing Photographs of St Bennett's Abbey are done to death. Very few things have changed about most photographs of St Bennett's Abbey. You've seen one, you've seen most of them. Views tend to not change a great deal. They're either shot from the river if you're lucky enough to have a boat, uh, or if you're walking on the other side of the river because there's a footpath that runs alongside the river over there. But rarely is there any foreground. But I've put on my Beermoth have a, a lens. This is the uh, 40 to 150 with a two time cell converter. And uh, I have over here, if it's going to show you, where is it? I can't see it. <laughs> where is it? There we go. I just can't see it. I need to stand out of the way. So there we have part of the old abbey walls. And we're going to use that as a bit of foreground. Now I think it's fair to say I haven't chosen my moment well because whilst I've got the framing here St Bennett's Abbey is suddenly flooded with people and uh, it's not sure that I want people in so I'm going to wait for a little while although with the number of people that are there I might have to wait longer than I'd like and I'm very impatient. It's like a coach party's just turned up. And let's just take a sec to look at this idiot who's climbed up onto the wall of an ancient scheduled monument. Total lack of respect. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna get some very long shots of some yachts. Even there, one's disappeared behind a tree. It's not my day, is it? Not great shots, I can assure you. I'm kind of snapping. Oh, it's out from the tree now. There we go. Uh, two together, that's better. I'm going to wait until they both get on a third. Okay, fewer people there now. Still too many for my liking. It's a shame because all I've got down there is it is grey cloud or grey bluey cloud. There's literally no sky interest whatsoever. But it's a shot that I would like to come back to, I think, at some point. Now I'm shooting this at kind of f8, f7.1 actually. I might just clone these people out because I'm growing tired of waiting. I can clone them out where they stood. So f7.1 because I do not want the foreground sharp. I don't want it completely blurry, but 
the focus is obviously on the Abbey gatehouse down there and not the wall. Anyway, I do hope that's come out and uh, if it has, you're going to see it now and if it hasn't, this has all been a complete waste of time. I cloned them out, including the plonker that was on the wall and someone trying to climb the gatehouse as well. Madness. In the opposite direction you can see these yachts. They're going to be very, very small. But the light is hitting them nicely. And because the sky there is quite nondescript as well, I can pick out the, the yachts quite nicely with the contrast of the brilliant white sails and the slightly darker sky behind. And the contrast works quite well. I can probably shoot these all day. I love, I absolutely love shooting uh, yachts. It's one of the things that I really do enjoy, watching yachts and shooting yachts. But I can't stand here all day. Those two are making their way this way. I want to go that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And This isn't a terribly long walk, but it isn't a busy one. I stumbled across just a, a lovely little scene. It's not a typical broad scene. It's a typical kind of outdoor rural scene. Around the broads, they've dug a number of kind of flood um, banks. Well, not banks, I mean, you can't dig a bank, can you? Uh, but they've dug kind of flood defenses. So uh, there's one just over here. This is a raised bank and this is lovely because this gives me height advantage over uh, over the landscape because if I was walking down below uh, my opportunities for photography would be rather reduced. Now hardly a cloud in the sky now so we do have now our typical blue sky day which ordinarily I wouldn't like but I'm enjoying being out and uh, Rather than moaning about photography and blue sky days, I'm enjoying this. And actually, we're getting some contrast off the, over various things, or off of various things between the sky and the uh, and, and the eye, uh, than the objects. So um, it's not working too badly. But here, this is lovely. It's just a lovely little scene peeking through of one of these flood banks, or not flood banks, flood defences that's been dug down here. Some willows on one side, some reeds at the bottom, and. Uh, it's rather lovely. I just got a, a, a long shot, I think I'm about 100 mil, shooting straight kind of through it, getting some reflection down it. It's gorgeous. Really, really like it, and I hope you do too. Here it comes. Now I've fallen in and out of love with this. I thought it was rather nice when I was taking it, and whilst editing it, I've realised that the back of subject has not done it any favours. But it does have this kind of painterly feel to it, which gives it something. I'm not entirely certain what. Some days I like it, some days I don't. It works best as a square crop, for sure. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying this video, give us a like and maybe even subscribe. Thanks. Now the sun's beginning to dip now, so we're getting some colour. You can see in this shot the ombre behind me. It's a real shame that there's no cloud, but the ombre is rather nice anyway. In not too long, say not too long, hour or so, hour and a half maybe, that's, uh, that's going to start really getting some orange and pink and golden hues to it. So kind of looking forward to that. I've barely walked anywhere yet. And again, here, as I walk around, I don't think you can see it. Between these two trees here, we've got the church just peeking through at the, uh, on the hill up there, that's Thurn Church. I think there's a shot there as well. And from a similar position, I snapped this 
across the marshes. And this. And a few others in between to get this panorama. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I moan about this landscape being flat. When you're down at landscape level and all you can see is this kind of reed, it's not the most inspiring. But we, when you get above that reed, whether you're on the helm of a boat, maybe even the roof of a boat, or a raised bank as I am here. Yeah, okay. That over there, I'll go with it any time. It's uninteresting. Uh, but every now and again, you get one of these dikes cut in the, the landscape. There's one running up here, you can see the, the line going through. Lovely one there. We've got these glimpses of boats moored up over here. Got a couple of shots of those. I'm sorry, there's not a lot of shots or video in this, yeah, in this uh, episode of me taking photographs. I just haven't produced a lot of B-roll today, I'm sorry. I've got a bit, but not of me taking the shots. You're just seeing the shots. I hope the shots are enough for you, and I'm sorry if they're not, but hey, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the point. The point is that when you can see the landscape and you can put into the landscape the things that make this area, and let's not be, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's be honest about it. What makes this area are people. It is a man-made environment. The landscape, or rather the rivers, are, are largely natural, but the broads themselves aren't. Um, they're medieval, but they're man-made medieval peat diggings. And what really makes this landscape is people. Whether it's on something man-made, like this holiday boat going past over here, or this wonderful yacht that's nestled over here with his, uh, uh, with his jib still out. Or whether it's one of these magnificent windmills, or whether it's church up here. I'll tell you what, I've been in an absolute element today. It's one of the reasons I haven't shot uh, a lot of B-roll, is because I'm just shooting photographs. And I, I don't know whether they're any good. Some of them, I think, are probably going to be quite, quite nice. But until I get them home, I won't be certain of any of them. But you know what? I don't bloody care. I've come out, and I've come out for a walk in a landscape that I do, do love, despite the moans that I make about it every now and again. Okay, not every now and again, in, in most videos that I do from here. But this is a, a, a path that I've never walked before, and I'll tell you something for nothing, it's marvellous. I really do love this path. Uh, it's not terribly long, <coughs> exactly follows the river, which gives me great views here and there of the river, but if I put the drone up, I've got brilliant views. I've got uninterrupted views of these two windmills, and every now and again it is interrupted by a, a gap in the, the tree line or something. You can see here, there's a, a potential bit of framing here. I might take this shot in a second. And... Uh, it's just great. I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take this shot. I'm going to try and get this as kind of B-roll of me taking it. I don't think it's going to come out. It's going to put that here. I'm getting low because I, I want to keep the, uh, the foreground such as it is here. And I'm just using these two trees as framing. Again, we've got these two mills appearing just on the other side of this tree line. The blue sky today is working very well uh, for the river. We've got a lot of very nice blue water reflections because the broads generally are murky. They're very muddy rivers. But to have a blue sky reflection on the top 
very nice. And in a little while, when all of the, the river traffic is kind of stopped and the sun sets a little more, if I was to get the drone up, we'd have some wonderful sky reflections or cloud reflections, or we would if there were any clouds, which, <laughs> which there aren't. So instead I'll show you an aerial shot I took a couple of years ago. I rather than like this one. The sun is getting lower and lower now, just hiding behind a tree there, but as I walk out, you'll undoubtedly see it begin to catch my face. And uh, I decided not to do the circular walk because uh, a good chunk of that's on the road and um, that's dull. So I'm going back the way I came and in essence, of course, I'm turning around because I'm, I'm going to see everything that I've walked past, although I have turned around throughout the walk this way because I always do, because often the, uh, the image is behind you. This is also a shorter walk than going around because I have to kind of walk further away from the car to get back to it by road. So, fingers crossed, I'll get somewhere quickly before I have to walk through this long grass in the dark. I think I'm going to lose the sun behind a hitherto unseen cloud bank down here, I think. I mean, you might just be able to see it. You see it's dipping behind a cloud there, you can't see the bottom quarter of it. So, I think we might get a very interesting glow coming out of that before too long and uh, I think I'm going to have to take at the very least the teleconverter off this because I'm losing three or four stops of light or three stops three maybe two I can't remember uh, it's a uh, it's a 2.8 lens Oh hell, no, excuse me, excuse me, got to do this. I don't know whether you can see the sun catching the water there, that's what I wanted to find. Ah, uh, well, well, that, that was the was last, the recording the I last because the, the video sun I got was going down so fast, going so fast, so fast. I, needed to I had to really concentrate on the get my I'm act really sorry, together. there's no more me. So, I'm sure no I'm more me? Really oh, what a shame. But here's some great shots coming that I really do hope you like that I got on the way back. One of the things that's really important to YouTube is uh, likes and subscribes. So if you've liked any part of this video, and I hope you've liked more than one bit, then please do click the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. It won't cost you anything at all. It was an incredibly enjoyable walk. And as that mist came down as I walked back, the opportunities for some great shots were just endless. This is just a few. Thank you for watching this.